So here's the barn, and it's 10 by 14. And we just, you know, had our, our lawnmower in here and, you know, some lawn stuff. And my son Mike is going to build a bed uh, here for the goats. Um, that's a four by four piece, but he's going to make that a lot smaller. And we're going to have an opening over here so that they can go in and out. And they're just going to be in this end portion of uh, the shed here. They're not going to take up the whole shed. Well, Billy's going to paint some of this side of the barn. Yeah, and you're going to stay out of the way. Right, in a million years. So we've got, oh, Billy's starting to open up. I, I'll probably have to do that, Billy. Let me just show the people what we got here. We've got, let's see, put it down before I open it. Yeah. Okay, wait, Billy. It's bare, oh, look at the goats rolling it. Bare exterior barn and fence paint. And um, it's barn red number 25. And hopefully it's going to look like that. <laughs> I have a uh, new trim, uh, and I have to paint it white. Um, also, that's where the goats go in the barn here. It's just our garden shed. This is really bad here. I'll, I'll probably, I don't know if I'll end up trying to replace those doors, but that's a major pro project. And... Uh, an old shed so I, I may just paint over and put the new white trim on because otherwise you know it's gonna start I can't lift all those boards myself and stuff it, it would be rough so we're just gonna let Billy paint a little bit here just with this brush hey Bill just gonna get a, a very little paint here Right here. Like this. That's good. Oh, that's going to be a real nice color. That's going to be a good color. Mm. Looking better already, and you can just, oh, <laughs> guess what just landed here? One of these stink bugs, just in case. It's going to take more than a gallon of paint. It's just, oh, I couldn't believe it, though, that you don't have to, um, you don't have to prime it first. It's primer in one, primer and paint in one. That's nice. Come on, Billy, pay attention. Well, I'll help him and we'll check in in a little while here. Well, I was going to finish painting the shed red. Oh, look at the little angel. But Bilbo had other ideas for my gallon of paint that I stupidly put up there for two seconds on that spindle. I put it up there. It had the lid on, but very loosely because Billy had painted that much uh, yesterday on Sunday. I put it up here. I turned around to go and get the little ladder from there. And I just turned around and I hear him hitting that can. He butted it. Get out of there. Get out of there. Butted it with his head. Get. And I have a gallon of red paint on the ground instead of on the barn. <laughs> you can't make it up. Get out of here. Get out of here. So I was like, what am I going to do? It, most of it's under here. I, I grabbed a, a bunch of straw from the barn 
and I threw it on here because I don't want them to eat this because I'm sure it's poisonous. Uh, I don't know if they would. I mean, it, but you know, <laughs> look, I didn't plan on them doing that. But I mean, not a second. I, I it, maybe it was there two seconds because I just turned around and bango. And, and, and I saw it going over then, because I heard him hit it. I saw it going over and I was hoping, please God, don't let the lid come off. But I, I just had it on so lightly from, because uh, when Billy was painting with the paintbrush. So anyway, I'm picking it up and putting it in here and dig it, get out of there. Digging um, up any paint that might be left on the ground and sticking it, because I don't want them to eat that. But, all this just to paint the little shed red, right? That's how it goes. That's how it goes. It's not your, oh, look at him. Look, that's what he did with the paint can. That's just what he did. Oh, it's more fun when it goes down, right? That's how it's done. That's what goats do. That's how we're made. I thought I'd show you the roller I used to paint the barn. It's wonderful. It's for uh, rough surfaces and it's really, um, I don't know, like lamb's wool. It's really uh, thick and it, it gets in all the pits and grooves <laughs> because I didn't sand that barn and that paint was bad as you can see in these videos. Anyway, I would re recommend getting that type of roller if you're gonna paint something like I did. And uh, one coat of paint did the job. Well, the barn, she is painted. I used a roller after Billy tired out with the brush, it didn't take long with that four inch brush. So I used a roller, but the roller, of course, does not get in those ridges in there that uh, sink in. So I have to, yeah, it's a good, like over a quarter of an inch, it looks like. So I have to do all that by, with a brush. And uh, the other thing I did, as you can see, this is, it's an old barn. So, I mean, we're not putting like all new stuff on it because that'd be stupid. The roof really could use a new roof, but that's life. You can see where that kind of rotted away. I'm going to paint in there more where those crisscrosses are. And I, um, I have to, because I had the roller, I didn't paint up there. So I got to do that tomorrow before I put this uh, white trim on, because you know I'm going to spill some of that red paint if I put the white trim on it first. So I measured all the boards I need for the trim for the barn doors and uh, around the little uh, goat hatch and uh, went to Home Depot and I bought the one by threes and uh, I primed them and then I just finished putting a coat of uh, exterior white paint on it. This is um, how I cut the trim for the crisscrosses on the uh, barn doors. I've had this for years, this uh, plastic miter box with a um, 14 inch hacksaw. So um, this is what the miter, miter box looks like. It's not real big. And you, you put your piece of wood in there. I, I'm holding the camera, so I, and I usually would like hold it with one hand like this, and then you saw it, I'll uh, <laughs> switch hands here. Uh, you can saw it straight across like this. So you can just, you know, slip it backward or forward in this uh, miter box. If you have to make an angle, you put it like that. 
this is this is how I cut here and then I would cut there to make those end pieces. I thought I would show you the helpers I have to fix the barn, especially the trim work that I'm doing now. Here are my two helpers. It's raining today, but I wanted to do to see the barn. They've been in there. They don't like the rain, so they've been in there most of the time. They came out because I came out, so I put a little star on it. Well, it's a big star, actually. Yeah, it's your little spot. So it's got windows in the back. I want to show you the inside right now. Light. So we keep our hay here and straw. Oh yeah, yeah! You came in your little door. So my son Michael put up this gate and that at the end. I don't know, I think the gate was just that long or something, this little fence. He put a little latch and a gate here. I have a light on here somewhere, but I don't know how to put it on the camera. So we made that little bed for them, raised up. They like to be raised up on their straw. They have their windows. He made it far away, farther away so they can't jump onto this and get out. So we had a sawdust start and straw. Is that your little bed? Is that your bed, Foxy? You like it, Bill Bo? Yeah, it's your little house. My son Mike ended up putting a piece of um, carpeting extra that we had over this, and this works real well. It's just carpet. As you can see, carpeting. How about it? So they just go in and out, and it works perfectly. Here's the latch I put on it. Works very nicely. So I'll tell you the story of how my cupola got painted. I asked my older son Mike to help me because he was working out of the house, and he says, "I can't. I don't have any time, Mom. I, you know, and ba 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 ba." And anyway, of course, I thought, well, I don't need you. I went, I got the ladder, and I put it up on the side here, and I crawled up there. I had some of my um, primer white paint in a coffee can. I just took what I thought enough of, uh, that I needed. And um, I, I went up there. I'm terrified of heights. I am terrified of heights, but I thought, it's not that high, I'm just gonna do this, you know. And so I went up and I flung myself against this area just above the red there. And then I, I crawled onto the top of that roof and I was just terrified. I was terrified. I, I was lying down. <laughs> on the roof because I was too scared to get up. But I stuck that paintbrush in the can and I start painting. And of course, the minute I get up there, a wasp starts flying around my head. And I thought, oh gee, God, that's all I need. Because uh, like a month before, I was stung with about uh, uh, seven times, five in the, right on my nose and on my cheeks, two on my cheeks. 
and uh, by wasps because I had uh, hit their nest by mistake when I, I shut the door. I didn't know they had a nest when I brought the lawnmower in. So, but it didn't bother me, thank God. And so then I, this time, and so I was painting, but I couldn't, I was so scared, I didn't want to go over the peak of the roof. And it's little, it, it's little, but when you're terrified of heights, it's big. And I was looking down, and I was like, so terrified. So I was almost like blindly painting on the opposite side of what we're looking at here. And then I, I had to slug my way. I was just like a, sn a slug or a snail on that roof. I didn't get up at all. And then I went and I got this part. And you can see I got some paint on the top of that metal thing and all of it. Well, anyway, when I was about this point, my son was saunters out of the house and says, looks up and says, Mom, you missed, you missed some spots. Now you missed right under that tin thing. So I'm trying to paint that. And it's time to come down. And I was terrified and terrified turned to petrified. And I was afraid to move. I was afraid to come down. And thank God, you know, he's standing there. And he says, Mom, he's holding the ladder. Come on, just put your foot this way. Well, I was on my stomach and I was, my... <laughs> It's hard to describe how stupid, but I couldn't get my leg back because of the slant on this roof. And it, it, it's enough of a pinch where you're on top, but then you're like sideways and then it goes down. So I kept trying and I couldn't do it. And he said, Mom, I'll catch you. Just go on your back, <laughs> turn over on your back and I will catch you uh, and just slide down. And he's like six foot four, thank God. And he said, just slide down and I'll catch you. And I said, no, I'm too scared. And uh, finally, I, I got all my courage. And he said, if you don't do it, I'm calling the firemen. And they're gonna come here with to rescue you. So I'm picturing a helicopter landing. <laughs> on my little shed roof or a crane to pick me up and get me off the roof. And then Mike started, I said, no, no, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. And then he starts pulling at my feet to kind of drag me down. I finally got the nerve to turn over on my back so I could slide down on my rear end and kind of like go over his shoulder. If I, if I didn't turn on my back, I'd be scraping my face and hitting my head on the uh, roof. You can't make it up. What an ugly scene. And <laughs> so there he is. Finally, kind of like, finally I slid down and, he, you know, he, 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 he like uh, grabbed my thighs, then my waist, and then I, you know, like slid down. And I start crying, and believe me, I don't cry, but I was so upset over this. So that is the story of the cupola, which only has primer on it and will only ever have primer on it. And it will be a test of how long primer lasts without paint on it. What? Well, that was the start of painting the barn. That was my start, but I'm so proud of myself. Every time I look out from the kitchen window and I look at that cupola, <laughs> I think of that and start laughing. I hope you do too.